Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project training and placement management system. And I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. Python version I'm using is the Python 3.7 and Django version is 2 and MySQL version is 5.6. For Python, Django and MySQL connector, I have used PyMySQL. But if you uh, want to use MySQL connector, then you can use that also, right? So uh, this is a web-based application. So for front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like for formal additions, integration of the date calendars, creating sliders as you are seeing on the home page, and for creating drop-down menus like this one, right? So for these things, I have used jQuery plugins. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project and the project title is training and placement management system and this is a major project which has three types of login the first login is student login tpo login and the admin login right so these all function uh, type of uh, logins available rules available so let's start with the functionality go through that what we have developed inside this project right so once you run this project you will get this home page so this is you can see this is the simple home page and it's a bootstrap home page right so this is a home page and you can see the components are loading slowly because it's a wow effect and we have used jQuery library for that this is about project and it's a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right there is a simple slider here right you can see this is a simple slider this is all trainings and this is a tan and fully dynamic and you will get all of the trainings which has been published by uh, tp or the admin you can see all of the trainings here you can see the details here so you will be able to see all of the details once you click on that view training file then you will be able to see that training file and if you want to enroll for that training you can enroll from here this is all jobs right which has been published by uh, admin or the tpu so you can see all of the jobs are available here if you want to see the details just click on the view details you will be able to see the details of that job and you can login to apply because there is a restriction without login you can't apply now these are the logins the student can log in tpo can log in and admin can log in this is a contact us from here uh, you can submit the contact us but this is a static page there is nothing dynamic i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page even i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database right so let me go through one by one so i am going to log in as an admin first so the user id is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you will get this dashboard admin has a super uh, rights right admin has all of the rights in the system admin can do whatever he can he want to do so admin can perform these operations let me go through one by one so all of the menu which is as uh, uh, displaying here you will get here in the admin part and the reports part right so i am going through all of one by one home i already explained you about us i already explained you this is a dashboard and this much of menu is coming because admin has login right if tpo logins inside the system then the menu will be less and if you student login then it will be more less right because the student has very least rights right so let me go through one by one <coughs> this is a administrator and add job once you click on the add job you will be able to post the job and this job will be displayed on the home page right so you can fill the form and after that you can post the job this is the add training from here you can submit a training right here you can select a training subject all of the drop downs which is available in the system is totally dynamic drop down the value of those drop downs are coming from the database this is a training title date and file content and descriptions you can add the training from here this is the add new user from here you can add new users you can either add admin or a student or tpo so you can select the role here and after that you can fill the information and after that you can submit right so these three add are the ads forms tpo report from here you will be able to see all of the tpo right once you click on the edit you will be able to see all of the informations and you can submit it and those details will be updated inside the database this is admin login so currently there are two admins inside of the system so tools are available right because this is a multi-role based system this is a student report all of the student who has registered inside of the system will be displayed here you can edit and update the details of the student from here this is a job report all of the job which you have posted will be displayed here right you can edit and after 
putting all of the information, you can submit it. Right? This uh, training report, all of the training which has been created or published by you will be displayed here. You can edit and update the details. Right? This is a training registration report. All of the registration which has been done by the student will be displayed here. Right? You can see all of the training registration has been. This is a training registration report. Right. This is a job registration report. All of the job for which the student has registered will be displayed here. Right. So you can see all of the students. Currently, we have two students inside the system. That's you. That's why you are seeing only one. Right. But you can register any number of students, and after that, you a student can apply for that job or for the training. Right. This is a my account section from where you can update your account details and the change password from where you can update your account password. And the logout. So once you click on the logout, then all of the session will be destroyed, and above administration menu will not be displayed. And these menu are totally session driven. The menus item will be rendered according to the session level, means according to the access rights. Right. So once you click on the logout, then you can see it. Right? Now I am going to log in as a TPU. So TPU user is TPU and password is test. Once you log in then you can add the training which i already explained to you if you can add the training if you can add the job right from here if you can submit the job you can see the number of menus are less here because if has less rights than the admin this is a training report and you can edit and update the training report this is a job report all of the job which has been published you can update means if you can update and then after that training registration report and the job registration report right which i already explained you right so these are all those reports which has been which i have uh, explained in the admin but if you has less types so if you can see that right you can cancel it right so this is the job registration this is my account from where if you can update his account details and the change password in the logout now the last part is the student so for login as a student just login click on login and login as a student as test right you can see the number of menus are very less as comparison to pq and admin because the student has very least rights right so once you click on the all training listing you can see this is right you can download the training file from here you can see the details right if you click on the enroll then you can see because this you have already enrolled that uh, for that training that so you will not be able to enroll it again right so all trainings let me enroll for another one once you click on the enroll you can see you have enrolled successfully for the esp question solving right because you can but if you click on again then you will get error right this is all trainings right from where student can see all of the trainings these are all jobs the student can see all of the jobs and once you click on the view details he will be able to see earlier you were getting that login to apply but it's saying that log apply for job because the student has login inside the system once you click on it then it sees that you have already you have successfully enrolled for the job but if you click again then it will show the error message because you can't apply for the same job again right this is a my training from where you will be able to see all of the trainings for which you have enrolled this is the training which we have registered right now this is a my jobs from where you can see all of the jobs for which you have applied right so these four options a student can perform this is a my account from where a student can update his account details and the change password right the last one is a logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed so these all functionalities I have developed inside this project training and placement manager system. And as, as I told you earlier, this is a Python Django and MySQL web-based DBMS major project, which has three login, student, TPU, and the admin. But if you need extra functionality, if you need more enhancement in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to your requirement. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. For getting the latest videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much